The biggest energy users in any home, of course, are the heating and cooling systems and the water heater. In fact, combined, they can be responsible for as much as 85% of your home's total energy use. So naturally, in our home energy survey, we would determine whether these items are operating efficiently. Many people may not realize that their air conditioning and heating comprises about 56% of their electricity bill. And besides the thermostat setting, one of the most common causes of wasted energy in high bills is leaky ductwork. Now, ideally, conditioned air moves from the air conditioning unit through the ductwork and into the house with no leakage, but many homes don't have such airtight ductwork. And once that air escapes, both comfort and money are gone with the wind. Now, leakage in the ductwork forces the heating or the cooling unit to work harder at blowing conditioned air into the home to achieve your thermostat's temperature setting. The end result? A higher monthly utility bill. So, to check for any air escaping, be sure your unit is operating and just run your hand over the joints and seams to check for any leaks. If you do discover them, you can contact a local air conditioning contractor or you can even repair the leaks yourself. Just see the printed materials accompanying this video. Remember too that leaks in the ductwork not only let air out, they also let air in. And that means that gases from cars or other pollutants from a garage, for example, can have easy access right into your living room. Also check for any sag in the ducts where the joints may be disconnected as well as obvious breaks in insulation that should also be repaired. If your ductwork is the flexible type, make sure it's not all looped or kinked up to the point that it can restrict the airflow. So, can airtight ductwork really make a difference in your monthly bills? Energy experts estimate that in some cases, sealing those ducts can produce savings of 25 to 30 percent. Another important checkpoint is the air filter that's in use in your heating or cooling system in your home. You want to check this filter for dirt once a month and change or clean it if necessary and it looks like this one is due. A clogged air filter actually reduces the airflow in your system and makes it work a lot harder than it should. And just remember, a dirty air filter means you're breathing dirty air. If you have an outdoor unit, make sure it has room to breathe. It shouldn't be covered up by shrubbery or have water hoses or other objects resting on it. All of those can hamper the airflow into the unit. Another thing to consider is this. How efficient is your air conditioner or heater? Units that are older than 10 years can sometimes cost twice as much to operate as a new and efficient unit. So if you've been thinking about replacing an outdated heating and cooling system, there are several options to consider. First, consider a new central air conditioning and gas furnace unit. Gas is available in most GRU areas. And when it comes to heating, nothing heats your home quicker or more comfortably than natural gas. It's clean, it's efficient, and it's economical. Florida has hot, humid summers and mild winter climates, making a high-efficiency electric heat pump a very good option to both heat and cool your home. Heat pumps do just what their name implies. In summer, they pump unwanted heat out of the house, and in the winter, they bring that heat back in. Now, most heat pumps use the air as the source to heat and cool your home. And should you decide you want to upgrade your heating and cooling system, make sure that any new equipment you select has a high efficiency rating and is properly sized for your home. GRU can offer more advice on what to look for in heating and cooling equipment, as well as how to save money in other ways by logging on to www.gru.com.